Let's get started reading the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. We're going to tell the story with our retelling mat that has a green circle on this side and a red circle on that side because green means go, so that's where we start, and red means stop. Before we get started, we should always lay out all the pieces so that we can easily grab them when it's time to use them. Let's read the first page. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. So the first thing we're going to find is the leaf. There it is. I'm going to put it over here on this side. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So now we're going to need the sun because it's morning time and the sun came up and we need to find that caterpillar. Can you find the sun and the caterpillar? Very tiny and very hungry. he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. One apple. Let's see if we can find one apple. There it is, just one. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, one Two. So we need to find two green pears. Where could they be? Here they are. One, two. Two green pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But, guess what? He was still hungry. We need to find three plums. They're purple. There they are. Let's put them out. One, two, three. Good. Okay, let's go to the next page. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. Let's find those. There they are. One. Two. Whoops, this one's upside down. There we go. Three. Four. Piece of paper. Four strawberries. Oh my goodness, look at how much he's eaten so far. That is a lot of food. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't you count them with me? Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's find five oranges. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five. Five oranges. Oh my goodness. I wonder what he's going to eat next. Oh my goodness. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Okay, that's first. We've got to find that. One piece of chocolate cake. Where could it be? Did you find yours? I found mine. One piece of chocolate cake. Next, one ice cream cone. Okay, 
one ice cream cone. Yum. It must be strawberry because it has red ice cream on it. There's one ice cream cone. After the ice cream cone is one pickle. Okay. Pickle, pickle, pickle. I see it. It's green. Do you have a green pickle? There it goes. One piece of Swiss cheese. Okay. Swiss cheese. It's yellow and it has holes in it. There it is. Put yours on the mat just like mine. After the Swiss cheese, he had one slice of salami. Yum! Salami. Where did it go? Here it is. Looks like this. One slice of salami. Then, yum, he had one lollipop. Okay, let's see if we can find the lollipop. Oh, cool. There it is. One lollipop. Then, one piece of cherry pie. Oh, yum. I need to find my cherry pie. There it is. Let's put it on here. What comes next? After the cherry pie, he had one whole sausage. Wow. There it is. A sausage. He's going to be so full. After the sausage, he had one cupcake. Looks just like that. Hmm. I only have a few pieces left. There's my cupcake. Goes right by the sausage. And one slice of watermelon. Yum. I love to eat watermelon. There it is. That night, he had a stomach ache. Of course. Look at his sad face. Oh, his belly hurts. He ate a lot of food. Look at all the things he's eaten so far. He is a little caterpillar with a lot of an appetite. Here we go. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Hmm. What's going to happen next? Oh, I like this part. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside it for more than two weeks. Hey, I think I have a cocoon. Here it is. Do you have a cocoon? Let's lay that out next. Okay. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And, this is the best part, <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, I have a butterfly. Do you? Let's find it. Put it down here on the end. It's on the very end by the red. That means stop because we're at the end of the story. He was a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> awesome. Look at what we did. We told the story with the book. Remember how it started down here and he ate all of that stuff? And he wasn't little anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar in the cocoon. And he turned into a butterfly. What a fun story. The end. Don't forget to pack up all of your things. Put the pieces back in the bag so you don't lose any. We want to be able to find them the next time you read the story. Nice work.